Physician-assisted suicide is a controversial, controversial topic. Many people wonder why it is that patients who are terminally ill would prefer to go down that route instead of uh, palliative care. Um, it might bring painful topics to light, but I feel like it's a good time to actually discuss it. And today I would like to persuade you that um, physician-assisted suicide is in fact an inherently kind and ethical action for patients. Now, according to the BMC Palliative Care, one in five patients has a severe daily pain rate. And that basically means that the patients are in so much pain that they don't think they can tolerate it anymore due to either a terminal illness like cancer or perhaps even renal failure. That's the top reasons that a patient may elect to go down the physician-assisted suicide route. There are a few other diseases or reasons why a patient would elect to go down that route instead. Sometimes they're just afraid of being in so much pain that they won't be able to function. They want to actually die with dignity or they don't want to be a burden on their family later on in life. Um, a good quote that I found by uh, P. Frayson in the article, Medically Assisted Dying and Suicide, How Are They Different and How Are They Similar, is that um, those with physical illnesses who request medical assistance in dying often speak of the importance of dignity, the fear of having one's body fall apart, the experience of having seen others die in pain, and the desire to avoid such a fate themselves. It's the main reason or reasons why a patient would elect to, go to, to instead go for a medically assisted dying. And in the 1980s, that was when the first right to die movement began. It started with uh, a Derek Humphrey in 1975. His wife had breast cancer and was dying and his wife asked him to help in her passing so that she wouldn't be in any more pain. And due to that, he started an organization called the Hemlock Society, which is like a way or a group of people that if a patient came to them and said that they would prefer to go in an easy, painless way instead of being in months and months of pain before dying and have their dignity intact, they'd prefer to do that. And in 2005, that Hemlock Society merged with another group called Compassion and Dying, and they became Compassion Choices. They, it was, um, in Oregon, it became the first state in 1994 to actually legalize uh, physician-assisted suicide. And um, they're still getting fighting to have it legalized in other states. So, in closing, uh, I just want you to think more about this subject and how those who are terminally ill may feel. Sometimes they're just so desperate to actually be free of pain or just wish to die with dignity and then they choose that option instead. Um, it's a tough choice when we all hope we'll never ever have to make ourselves but we should still have that option if someone is desperate enough for it. And all we can do is really support the people in our lives that feel like they have no other choice and respect their decision. Even if it's a last resort, it's an option that we should all have. Thank you.